Hi everyone, my name's Ollie. Uh, welcome to my video about uh, how to build a budget home gym. Um, basically working down a list of stuff that you're going to need in order of kind of cost and importance factored in there as well. You'll see as we go down the list you get more and more workout options available to you but I'm going to start with like the most budgety stuff and work my way up in levels. So um, the first thing I've put on the list is um, a pull-up bar. You can get a pull-up bar for very very cheap and you can do workouts that are entirely based around calisthenic training. So you know lots of different types of pull-ups, wide grip, chin-up, neutral grip, all that kind of thing. You can pick up a pull-up bar online for usually somewhere in the region of 20 quid to 30 quid and um, really really simple to use just install on a door frame screw into a door frame and you can get some really good pull workouts with some very big compound movements there lots of high volume and uh, that's on a very very cheap budget now with a budget that low um, for the rest of your workouts you're going to be looking at just pure calisthenic stuff like dips using chairs um, which is something that's a really great thing that helped me at the start of the lockdown and then also things like one-legged squats or body weight squats in high volume. So that's if you're working on a very, very uh, small budget. I think that that's the, the bare minimum you should be getting is a pull-up bar. Moving on down the list, uh, number two, I put the most obvious thing probably would be investing in some weights and handles. Now, when I say handles, what I mean by that is a barbell and dumbbell handles. Now, you could have one or the other and still get really good workouts. Um, the cheapest types of handles you can get would probably be spin lock standard handles. So a spin lock dumbbell or a spin lock barbell, you can usually buy those online for quite cheap. Um, and sometimes they come with the weights that you get as well. Um, now I got mine from a website called Fitness Superstore and that's based in the UK. Basically cast iron standard uh, one inch diameter handles and uh, plates up to about 110 kilograms of weight. I think I got cast iron plates was about 140 quid, something like that. If you don't want to, you know, do some really heavy stuff, if you're just looking to get toned up or, or stay toned up at home and you're not trying to like progressively overload, you don't need that much weight. So you can get it for a bit cheaper. The problem at the minute with the lockdown is that everybody's trying to make a home gym. Everybody's bumping up the value of plates and the value of the weight. So if you look on somewhere like Gumtree or Facebook Marketplace, you'll see that weight sets are being, first of all, they're being sold out on websites. When you look on Gumtree or Facebook Marketplace, because of the value of the weights at the moment and how desperate everybody is to have a decent workout with weight, they're they're bumping the prices of the plates up very, very high. So if you look to get like, you know, 30 kilograms of weights, you're, people are asking like 200 quid for that. It's just kind of outrageous. Um, because pre-pandemic, that's the kind of thing you could pick up for very, very cheap. So if you can't get if you can't get uh, weight plates on an official website that's selling them, like a like a retailer, um, there is a really good golden tip I want to give you. I had a friend who contacted me recently um, because he was going down to Middlesbrough, where a steel factory had a little bit of an entrepreneurial thing on the side where they were milling customized weight plates to order out of steel. Now I picked up two 20 kilogram plates from this steel factory in Middlesbrough for 67 pounds. So that's 40 kilograms of weights for 67 quid. That is an absolute bargain in this day and age. And the plates are a little bit, they're a little bit scruffy, but if you spent a good bit of money on that and got yourself a cheap barbell, like you're gonna be absolutely landed. And again, once you've got your weights, you can increase the different variations in your exercise. Think about it this way. We're only on number two in this list right now, and you can build a workout with pull-ups, bent over rows, one arm rows, bicep curls, something like that for a pull day. Really, really awesome workout. In terms of legs, we're gonna need to try and get some squats in there. And there's only so heavy you can take it if you've just got your barbell and your dumbbells. That's, you know, goblet squat territory, Romanian deadlift kind of stuff, deadlifts, um, all good stuff. But if you wanna take it to the next level, you're gonna do some heavy squats. So the next thing on my list would be adjustable squat stands and or squat rack. Now, this will come in really handy down the line as well once we start move, talking about uh, chest exercises, heavy chest exercises. But this is really important. I've put this above a bench on the list because I think that squats, heavy squats, front squats, all that, full body stuff like that is so much more important. And with just your dumbbells and just your barbell weights and calisthenics, you're not gonna get the progressive overload that you need on your legs. You need to get squats done properly and you can't just lift the barbell off the ground to do your heavy squats, you have to have a rack. So a rack, adjustable rack is so important. The first rack that I picked up 
um, during the lockdown was a sort of cheaply made pair of stands, squat stands, that I found on eBay and they were put together by some little company. You could tell it had been just milled like throughout lockdown to meet the demand. Um, adjustable stands, about 130 quid. So we're looking at about 300 quid spent at this point in time, but um, now that you have those stands, there's not much you, you can't do to that'll get you a really solid workout, you know. I've since upgraded personally to a adjustable rack um, with safeties on it. And that's made by a company called Hardcastle Bodybuilding. Again, a UK based company. And the, the actual piece of equipment that I got is, is very, very similar to one made by a company called Mirafit as well, as far as I'm aware. Um, these are little companies that have popped up trying to like basically capitalize on the um, on the home gym market and I got this this one for 200 quid obviously I sold my squat stands and got this as a bit of an upgrade but um, you don't really need that unless you're going super heavy because that I wanted it for the benefit of the safeties you know so you can you're still on a bit of a, a fair bit of a budget now you're like 300 quid is is pretty expensive but you know like I said you can backtrack down to this if you don't have that kind of money or you can uh, you know, invest in that and you'll get loads of use out of it. So next thing on the list is the bench. And, you know, I think it's probably not as important as getting the rack. You should get the rack first before you get the bench um, because you can do a lot of your pressing movements on the floor or sitting on a chair or something like that. But if you really want to overload your presses, then you want to get a bench, obviously. And the first thing that I got was a actually a garden bench made of wood. It was very, very sturdy. It only cost me 40 quid. Um, so realistically speaking, you could, you could get something that was super cheap and, um, get loads of extra push exercises out of it. You can combine that with your rack and then you can do some bench press now with that, you know? So we're working our way up down this list and you're getting more and more bang for your buck. You're getting more and more exercises you can add to your regime. Um, you can get some very, very cheap adjustable benches from like Argos and stuff like that, but they're very hard to come by now because they're sold out usually, but you can get lucky and get them on like Facebook Marketplace or Gumtree for about still quite cheap, like 40, 50 quid. So um, adjustable benches aren't too hard to come by. The one that I've got is again from Hardcastle Bodybuilding, which is a bit more advanced. It's kind of semi-commercial. So it's like the kind of thing you'd see in a, in a gym, um, but you don't need anything as complex as that. You can use something quite simple for a bench. Um, but again, very important piece of equipment. Now, with all of the above, there isn't much you can't do to a good degree that will keep you going until you get yourself into the gym after lockdown, you know. Um, the last thing on my list would be uh, accessory stuff. So this is just like little bits and pieces you can put in to kind of spice your workout up a little bit. Um, one of the things I got was a pulley system that I can hang over my uh, pull-up bar. And this cost me about 40 quid, including the attachments uh, on Amazon. Really, really simple, cool piece of equipment. You can do some tricep extensions with it. And uh, you can just get creative with these things and you can find yourself opening up a lot more possibilities of exercises that you can do. Lastly, I just want to comment on basically the benefit of having a home gym in the first place. Now, obviously with lockdown, it means you can keep your gains and progressively overload and just maintain like size and strength throughout the gyms being closed. But I've come to think of it kind of as a good thing to have anyway because even if your gym's open, you have no excuses to skip a workout if you have all your weights at home. Obviously we're creatures of habit and when we pick up any kind of regime, like a fitness regime or you know a, a lifting program, it, it can be very, very hard to be dedicated enough to, to like stick to that. And motivation doesn't usually work either. Motivation is something that's very finite and runs out quite quickly. You know, you can't just watch motion, motivational videos every single day. So we're creatures of habit. Whatever's easiest for us is what we're gonna build our habits around. If you can make a habit of going in the kitchen in the morning, you know, waking up a little bit early, going in the kitchen, making a coffee, and your weights are right there next to you, you have no excuse to skip a workout. So there's a huge benefit to having it right there, making it easy and comfortable to actually do a workout um, just by having weights at home. So that's probably the main perk, I think, to, uh, to, to making a home gym is that, you know, your consistency and your how often you, you lift uh, are just boosted massively, you know? So that's my video. Hope you enjoyed um, and I'm probably going to try and make some more videos like this in the future and try and uh, make it a bit more entertaining uh, than just the, the standard bare bones stuff but um, I didn't want to have any extra kind of waffle on in here I just wanted to get to the point for you so thanks so much for watching if you got all the way through the video and uh, 
yeah good luck and um we're all gonna make it bros just uh keep lifting and stay strong stay hard